Biotechnology is frequently called one of the peak industries in Ireland. Ireland leads. Ireland has a fantastic place to come and do business, and we have an amazing skill base for people to do biotechnology, and we keep calling the revolutions. When you can actually get life to do your bidding, that opens up every possibility that we have ever technologically dreamed of. This is the Indie Bio event, and it is the culmination of months of incredibly hard work by all nine teams. And what you don't realize is it's also months of work by us to actually find these teams and attract them to Ireland from literally all over the world. When uh, synthetic biology was created uh, by the, that company, uh, and, and in general by pharmaceutical companies, they've led the way uh, for introducing drugs, uh, Viagra, insulin, all sorts of uh, things. Now what's happening with synthetic biology is the price point for creating, uh, for actually creating uh, these uh, um, organisms that produce the outputs uh, that, you, that you want. Um, these are now possible for, instead of spending a billion dollars like they would have done it, for, for scientists, for entrepreneurs to be able to create it for on the order of hundreds of thousands of dollars. We are the microbe whispers. The microorganisms that live in the soil right beneath your feet produce 70% of the world's antibiotics. That bag of dirt is now in the Smithsonian Museum because in it, teramycin was discovered. This antibiotic went on to save numerous lives and made the company that discovered it lots of money. If you look at this later tube, you would see two things. A molecular copier and a DNA computer. The copier copies. It amplifies the viral target up to a detectable level. This allows our DNA computer to analyze these copies. And then gives a signal when the, if the viral target is, is um, present. So we're making beneficial changes to stem production in yogurt bacteria. And our secret is our breeding strategy. We're developing new natural engineering methods. By utilizing the bacteria's natural DNA exchange system to modify itself, the bacteria are making precise changes to their own DNA for us, resulting in non-GMO strains. Safium Biotechnology produces all natural, non-toxic, and compostable bioplastics. They are called PHAs and they originate from soil bacteria, which use them as an energy storage. Just three genes encode the three major allergens in a peanut that cause allergies. And in the biomedical sector where I came from, and that's my background, I saw the rise in the last two years of an incredible technology called CRISPR the ability to simply turn off genes. It's biosynthesis of food. It's because of the problems that I've enunciated before that it does not make sense for us to produce food using agarwood trees and make them go extinct. But biosynthesis of food can only hold on its own if there are a number of benefits which we can accrue from biosynthesizing it. Limulex, a biosynthetic lamb completely short circuit the process, take the crab out of the equation entirely. Limulex is a cost-effective, extremely high quality source. It will have lower interbatch variability than commercially available lal, as no animals are involved. We are ready every single year now. We're trawling 33 million tons of ocean fish, mashing it up, and feeding it to farm fish. 90% of global fish stocks have been depleted, over-exploited because of this. And it's predicted by scientific research that in 2048, 2048 is the year when our global fisheries will collapse. P has succeeded in printing with a standard Epson inkjet printer, the first page using ink that was grown by bacteria. This is amazing. Europe is really excited about biotech, but Ireland is the only place with the regulatory environment for people to actually develop a biotech. We have a really exciting 
opportunity in Ireland to turn Cork into Carbon Valley to make this environment where biotech is celebrated, local biotech, not just foreign direct investment, but small homegrown biotechs that can then go out and bring value to Ireland and bring excitement to Cork.